Hey, does anyone want this house? Sweet, it's a sweet house. It's a good house for a good, good price. Nobody? How do you sell this damn house? Postmaster says, you have been checking your mailbox every day for the last 11 years, hoping to hear from Jake. I'm real sorry, Jared. There's still no word. I know how close the two of you are. Well, maybe you should mind your own business, old man. Did I ask you to get involved in my life? Because I don't remember asking you, man. Welcome back to another episode of our 2020 Fan Stravaganza. I'm your host, Gaming J, and if you're just joining us for this holiday season, we are in the midst of playing fan recommended and fan voted on games. And the game we have today is Gold Rush, a classic Sierra adventure game, later retitled California colon Gold Rush, I guess. Gold Rush was not clear enough, but this is a tale of Jared Wilson, a great American hero, a young, ambitious city slicker born and raised in urban America. Quite frankly, he's perfectly prim and proper, caught in the trap of nine to five. Is this all life has to offer? There has to be more. This man is ready for action. As of this moment, he no longer will accept only dreaming of adventure. No, this is kind of a cool intro, actually. Uh, he will seek adventure out. There's going to be wagons a la Oregon Trail. There's going to be pirate ships, bridges, apparently, and also forested areas. It is the game of Gold Rush. He's quitting his job in, I think he starts in Brooklyn, if I'm not mistaken, and he basically heads to uh, Sacramento. Kind of a cool idea, actually, the gold rush. I mean, I know it's a thing. I've heard of it, uh, you know, my whole life. I mean, I, I know a little bit about history, but I've never really thought about it. And thinking about it for this game, <laughs> he fell in the water. Has a classic Sierra sort of humor going on here. Um, I don't know what's going on on that bridge. He's He's been zonked in the head. He's, he's walking around with Tweety Birds buzzing around his head. But uh, the idea of a gold rush is actually kind of interesting. Like, imagine you could quit your job today. You could go somewhere in the country and you could just start digging money out of the ground. That's what the gold rush was. Like, that's kind of crazy, actually. Like, if I could literally drive to California and start digging up money, I mean, I might do it. I mean, California is a cool place to be. You got movie stars, you got tech, you got video games and stuff all out there. Anyway, this intro is actually really neat. Uh, I really like what they've done here. Um, and now the game, she does begin. Brooklyn Heights, New York, 1848, before the gold rush. So, if I'm not mistaken, we have 14 minutes to play this game before the gold rush starts. Um, I don't know if that's 14 minutes in-game or 14 minutes real-time. Uh, but, uh, I do have a little walkthrough here so that we can make some progress. Uh, but it doesn't have much detail. It just tells me a few actions to do on every screen. So I'm going to explore my own pace and uh, try and immerse myself in the world of the gold rush. You're in the heart of the suburban Brooklyn. The year is 1848. Wow, this looks damn near majestic for Brooklyn. Can we talk to the man? Talk to man. Uh, this uh, real estate agent says, I'm on my way to close another real estate transaction. <laughs> that's just so why are you telling me dude i'm a random guy on the street who just stopped you why are you actually telling me what you're doing i don't know um one thing i like i was a big fan of sierra games back in the day i never played this game but like i did play uh you know space quest king's quest police quest especially leisure suit larry because hey when you're a teenager if there's a game about uh naked ladies of course you can play that game uh but uh, one thing I always really liked about Sierra games is they felt like you were uh, being immersed in a world. So I'm going to unlock the gate and in we go. And I guess we're going to... Uh, I think this is my house. Is this my house? There are many houses in Brooklyn, but this one has a special place in your heart. I assume that means it's mine or else I am a low-grade uh, burglar. You know, early days of burgling in 1848, and I'm just, uh, you know, getting a taste for crime. Anyway, we've kicked in the door, and we are now rummaging around the house here. Is this actually my house? This is the main entryway. The living room is to your right. It's not really specifically saying it's mine. I'm just going to assume it is. Um, but anyway, yes, being immersed in a world. 
Uh, I feel like that is one thing that Sierra games have always done. And it's true that once you've beaten a Sierra game, there isn't a ton of replay value because you've seen the whole story. It's like reading a book, right? But everybody reads books like it's interesting to read the book the first time through. And I think it's interesting to play a Sierra game the first time through because you get to experience uh, like a hollow novel. You know, if I can use Star Trek vernacular for a minute, it's it's a very primitive version of a hollow novel. I mean, I guess that's what a, an adventure game is. But in my mind, it's it's like reading a book. So we're we're being literate today, guys. This table was handcrafted by your grandpa. Resting on the table is an old family album. Take album. Uh, you need to get a little closer. Okay, let's try this again. You don't need to carry the album. Okay, how about look at album? Maybe this will give us some background into who we are. Memories, memories, memories. Every time you look at this album, it brings back memories. I like to imagine he's like having a seizure, his nose is bleeding, and like memories are all like zooping into his head. He's like having flashes of like his childhood and you know, like his first kiss and his grandpa dying and stuff. Um, very sci fi. I don't know why I'm going in the sci fi angle, but that's sort of what I, what I initially pictured when I was like, the memories are being zapped in my head. The album begins with a painting of your father and his best man, Mr. Quail. The bank president, shaking hands. You can't help but remember the help Mr. Quail was during the years after your parents' death. He raised you and your brother, Jake, until you could live on your own. Uh, here's a painting of your older brother, Jake, when he was just a baby. You often think of Jake, wondering where he is and what he is doing. Just across the page is a painting of you. You must have seen been about 18. That's interesting. I guess they didn't have photos, so they would paint one another. It was fascinating, actually. Imagine doing a selfie back in 1848. It's like a, a well, I guess it, that's what a self-portrait is. Okay, they had them. Those were a thing. Uh, and finally, you see a photo of your entire family together. You remember the excitement of posing together in front of the camera. It's a very special photo to you. You know, it's, it's fascinating how, like, cameras were once, like, this extravagance, and now, like, we literally have them in our pockets. We literally throw out old digital cameras you know like an old digital camera like a five megapixel digital camera you're like Ugh, what's this doing in my house you just throw it in the garbage like you don't even care it, it makes me wonder like what technology today is like super expensive and like extravagant that people are just going to throw away in the future like we'll have brain scanners you know now you go to the hospital and they like put in a big tube and they scan your brain with high-powered magnets in the future it'll probably like literally be just every hat has a brain scanner built into it. And you just throw brain scanners out all over the place because who cares? Um, you have no need for this lamp. Turn on lamp. Anyway, I'm getting super sidetracked here. Hey, the game doesn't know turn on. Turn on tamp. <laughs> if I could spell. What do you mean? Um, okay, well that's... You know what? This game is not Leisure Suit Larry. So I guess it wouldn't know the phrase turn on. But that's going to sort of put a kibosh on us trying to be inappropriate with... Uh, people that we meet in this game um if you want to open a door just walk up to it oh well that's actually interesting advice i'm in the bedroom get in bed one of those days where you just want to spend all day in bed looking at old photo albums i haven't got time for it though um okay is there anything that we can do around here um okay i'm looking at the hints that we've got we want to take photo and carefully remove the family photo from the album all right that got us some points in the land of sierra that's so you know you're doing the right thing uh how about close desk aha look at desk what is that crumpled slightly faded and wedged between the slats of the roll to uh, top is what appears to be misplaced bank statement See, these kinds of things in, you know, as much as I do like Sierra games, the fact that you had to know how to do these obscure, like who would have thought to find a bank statement, you close the desk. I would 100% assumed you open the desk, but I'm not as smart as Sierra, I guess. Anyway, we retrieve the uh, note. Um, as much as I did like these old Sierra games, the fact that it's like they had all this obscure stuff really meant like they were really brutal to beat unless you had to walk through. Because some of the stuff that you do doesn't even make sense. It's just you just do random things and random things happen. Like, uh, there's no cause and effect. I guess we should read this uh, bank statement here. It is your handwritten quarterly statement from the Brooklyn Bank. 
Uh, your account was $200 in 1848. That's like being a millionaire, man. We should, uh, you know what we should do is let's sell our house. Let's just go all in on this, uh, on this, uh, whatchamacallit, gold rush fever. Let's take all the clothes first. That will do you no good. All right, we don't need any clothes where we're going. One outfit is enough. If you've watched my Oregon Trail uh, video, you definitely know that uh, one outfit is not enough uh, because uh, we had one outfit in Oregon Trail and a uh, thief came in the night and stole all our clothes and then we had literally no sets of clothing. I don't know what my people wore, but it wasn't clothes. All right, apparently we can sell our house in here. Oh, hold on, let's see this. Sell house. This is a difficult decision. Your house means a lot to you, but you put it up for sale. <laughs> Wait, how did I do that, though? I just stood in my hallway and shouted, This house is for sale! People just know, I guess. Like that scene from The Office, when, like, Michael Scott walks into the office and shouts, I declare bankruptcy! And people are like, you have to actually fill out some paperwork. You can't just shout it in the uh, middle of a crowded office. It doesn't work that way. Okay, wait in front of the gate for a buyer to come along. Say yes to the offer. Okay, here's, here's a secret. We can speed up time. I'm gonna wait around here for someone who wants to buy our house. Oh god, I almost got run over by uh, that thing. Hey, there's a big for sale sign though. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We should explore this town more, but... Anyone... Talk to man. I'm going to talk to somebody to see if they want to buy my house. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Hey, that guy was scared of me. The, these guys start to walk towards me, then they turn around and run away. Wait in front of your of the gate for a buyer to come. Hold on. I'm going to unlock gate. I'm going to, like, get on the inside of the house. There. No! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna like just stand here awkwardly. So if you want to sell your house, according to Sierra, you put up a sign that says for sale, you stand on your front lawn, you wait for a good offer. Wait for a good offer. And if you want to have a bidding war, I don't know. I, I don't even know how you do that, according to Sierra. Nobody wants my house, eh? Okay, well, let's go ahead and slow the speed. Oh, that's like so slow. Let's uh, actually, let's go to fast speed. That's pretty good. I want to uh, explore. Hey, look at this guy. Talk to man. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't pause the game, so you have to type fast enough that the guy doesn't get far enough away that he doesn't miss being talked to. The new homeowner says, if I hadn't bought that house, I'd probably be on my way to California right now. Guess what? I just sold my house. Dude, you want to buy a second house? I'll give, you a, I'll give you a sweet deal. Two for one. You give me... Wait, that doesn't work. That just means I'm giving you my house for free. Man, I really like this uh, this little Brooklyn neighborhood they got here. Funny, because Brooklyn is nothing like this nowadays, right? Like, isn't it like a like just tall buildings and stuff? Like, it definitely is not cobblestone sidewalks and large, luscious green front lawns. <laughs> Unless I'm totally mistaken. Okay, I I guess I'm going to wait here. I'll try typing sell house again. Your house is already for sale. All right, let's see if somebody actually does come to buy this thing. Oh, you know what? We need to read that bank statement because our account number is what we need. 198 with 200 bucks. That's easy to remember because of this mnemonic. We have $200 in the bank account. 200 minus 2, because there's a 2 in the 200, equals 198. 200 minus 2, 198. I'm never going to forget that bank account number now. Okay, I literally suspect maybe this guy wants to buy my house, but I have to talk to him. Man on the wagon can't hear you. Uh, you say to Mr. Quail, sometimes I think something terrible might have happened to Jake. I wish I knew how he was doing. Mr. Quail replies, I have this feeling he's fine. Someday he'll be reunited. Okay, that's Mr. Quail. 
Apparently, somebody's supposed to come by my house. But uh, if they don't, a buyer will come along. You can either wait for him or leave and come back. Don't worry. If you get a message that he left, he'll return again. He will offer $850. You want to buy my house? It has been a pleasure helping you with your account, the bank, all these years. Why does nobody want my house? Oh, I think I just got run over by a wagon. It would behoove you to move yourself out of the way of these wagons. Press enter, F9 to restore, F9 to restart. I never saved my game. <laughs> okay, well, it's okay because somebody, we tried to sell our house and nobody bought it. So I guess let's, uh, let's restart. All right. Um, I just wanted to explore this other side of town because, you know, there was nothing going on when I tried to sell my house, but... Don't worry, we will get our house sold. God, this bridge is kind of annoying to walk down. Uh, where are we anyway? This is the beautiful downtown Brooklyn Park. There are fine lawns and flower arrangements. A okay, pro tip for this game, do not just go walking in the middle of the road when there are horses and carriages. They will run you down and kill you. Oh, look, the bank. Okay, there's clearly stuff we got to do on this side of town. Let's, let's sell this house once and for all. Let's sell our house. I'm like avoiding the horses and carriages. Don't want to get run down like last time. I always find Sierra characters look weirder when they're walking forward than sideways. Like sideways, this guy looks like a dude. Up and down, I don't know what he is. Like look at his, the shape of his face. It's because they use like a weird resolution. Like they have really wide pixels in these Sierra adventure games. I don't know why they did that, but uh, anyway, unlock gate. We'll come in here. Unlock door. All right, let's do all the things real quick. All right, we have $200 in our account. Our account is 28, 28, 28. It's like you take the two from the 200 and the two zeros and you put one zero on top of the other and you make an eight. 200 in 28. That's our mnemonic. Don't forget it, guys. Okay, I'm reading this tutorial. It says you have 14 minutes from the time the game starts until the gold rush begins. When this happens, your possessions drop in value and prices skyrocket. Therefore, you must have completed your transactions before then. It's advisable to walk around and learn the location of everything, then restart the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's pause the game, actually. All right. Now we will type sell house. Uh, difficult decision. Your house is up for sale. All right. Boom, house is sold. Let's get a buyer. I'm just waiting, waiting patiently this time. Following this walkthrough to a T, buyer will come along. You can either wait for him or just leave and come back. Don't worry if you get a message that he left. He'll return again. He will offer you $850. Take the money. Okay, it's going to happen. Here we go. House is up for sale. Buyer's coming, I know it. Look, I even have Talk to Man ready. Where is this guy, man? I looked him up. He looks like a chef. Guy is supposed to come by your house. Waiting for this dude. Seriously, where is this guy? What's happening? Why can't I sell my house? Okay, well, let's get a different version of this game. All right, attempt number two here. Let's see if we can uh, get this to work. Unlock the gates. Unlock the door. Let's do all the stuff. Ba -ba 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 all right, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. We have two, two, two hundred dollars in our account. And if you start at two and you count to three and you count to four, you get two, three, four, two, three, four. All right, we're going to remember that, that bank code now. All right, we put our house up for sale. Let's see if somebody comes to buy it. <laughs> So confused. 
What am I doing wrong? Why can't I get a sale? I'm confused! Alright, well, I guess it basically boils down to this. We'll do everything but sell our house. I mean, I'll put it up for sale. Maybe I will be surprised and someone will come and buy this thing. I just restarted again. Gonna have to remember that stupid bank code again. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll roll the dice. Hopefully, I don't need the $850. But uh, if we need it, we might be screwed. All right, take statement. What's our bank number going to be this time? Read statement. 219. 219. That's a hard one. 219. Okay, 2 for 200. 1 is the lowest number. 9 is the highest number. If you add them together, you get 20, which is like 2. 220. 2. 19. 1. 9 plus. No, wait. Yeah, one, no wait, 19. 19 plus 1 is 20. I don't, 1 plus 9 is 10. Okay, I don't know, 219 is the number, just remember it. I'm sick of making these mnemonics, I don't know why I'm doing it. Sell the damn house. Alright, well, uh, the house is for sale. In terms of actually making the deal, I don't know how to do it. So, let's just uh, carry on here. The other things that we have to do are take some flowers, look at cracks, and various other things, so... Uh, here we are in the lovely downtown Brooklyn. Go ahead and take flower. You picked a flower. Wait, I'm hearing sounds. Is that somebody who wants to buy my house? I'm like paranoid about selling this house now. Anyone? 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 Okay. Uh, now apparently we're supposed to look at cracks until we find a coin. We have $200 in our bank account. But, uh... Um, in the name of the law, don't take another step. Oh, God. Wait, are we not allowed to step on the grass? You've broken the law. I have no choice but to give you a ticket. Please don't make me do this again. Okay. From here, it is difficult to see under the gazebo. Alright, we're gonna go looking in the cracks. I didn't know you were allowed to step on the grass. Ticketing me? How about a warning, dude? A warning would be nice. Uh, you look through the cracks carefully. There must be something under the gazebo, but you can't see it right here. Okay. Can't see it. Wait, what did that say? You have a different... Try that when you have different perspective. Different perspective. Oh, hello. I think I'm supposed to stay in the gazebo? I don't 100% know how this works, but we're looking for a coin. Oh, God, I stepped on the lawn again. Damn it. Oh, my God. Sir, I'm sorry. Can't you just rough me up a bit with your stick? Please don't give me a monetary fine. That's worse. That's much worse. Okay. Looking at the crack. Looking at the crack. Looking at the crack. Cracks carefully must be something under the gazebo. Looking at the crack. Looking at the crack. Oh my god. Oh hey, we just found a gold coin. It finally worked. We only got ticketed twice. Now let's get the hell out of here. Let's try not to get run over by uh, horses and stuff too. Hey, there's an American flag. We're at the post office here. Look at all these people. This is a vibrant town of activity. Wait, did we actually take that coin or not? Oh, we didn't take the coin! Wait, we saw it, but we just walked away from it. Okay. Looking at the crack. Look at crack. Uh, take coin. Boom! Alright, now we can bribe our way out of any more walking on the grass finds, I guess. I wish I had that $850. Hey, get out, get away from me, buddy. That $850 from selling my house. Um... Wait, I only have $15 cash? Oh, I have a bank statement. Okay. So, after this, we need to uh, go find our job and quit. It's quitting time. Have you ever wanted to quit your job in a Sierra game? Well, now you can. The exciting thrill of telling your boss to go F himself. Oh, we don't even have to open the door. Hello. Greetings. Welcome to Gold Rush. Oh. Talk to Lady. With a sweet voice, Lois says, It's so nice to see you again, Jared. 
Don't be su such a stranger. You work so much. I worry about you. Well, that's nice, Lois. Open gate. You don't open it. Okay, Lois, you gotta help me out here. I'm kind of trapped. Oh, you just walk. Okay. Is this my boss? Is this boss man Jones? It's your boss's office. I quit. You loser. Losers not understood. Tell boss you quit. I want to quit with pizzazz, but I guess you can't. What do you mean? Okay, how about I just quit? Your boss is shocked by your decision, but says, but Jared, you are one of the best. He continues, but a man has to do what a man has to do. I wish you the very best, Jared. We'll miss you around here. Moon boss. <laughs> uh, well, there's, there's worse things I was trying to do. I was thinking of doing there, but... Uh, in the interest of keeping this video decent, let's not do it. All right, uh, go upstairs to your office. How do we get upstairs? That is a riddle. Oh, look at that. You just walk up here. All right. Assume this is my office. Look, this is your office. It is nice. It is a nice office. The company likes to take care of its best performing employees. You've moved up steadily in the company since you're... Started working here as a paper boy. If you work like a dog for the next 20 years, you might be one of the top dogs around here. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Why are we quitting? Anyone else in town would love to have your job, but at times you wonder if you want to do this for the rest of your life. All right, look on desk. Plain desk with a blotter on it. Okay, this game, I feel like, is not uh, really helpful because, like, what you're supposed to do is type read clippings. If I were playing this back in the 80s or 90s, I would not know there were even clippings in this office. I typed look desk, hoping it would show that there were, but it didn't even give you a hint. Sierra is, is brutal, man. They did not hold your hand for adventure games back in the day. These clippings are very important to you. You find yourself reading them, often wondering where your brother is and what he is doing. Think a lot. You think about your brother a lot. I will say that. Describe the complicated episode of your only brother, Jake. Jake was falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit. Although Jake was promised a fair trial, the townspeople weren't interested in justice. The result would have been a foregone conclusion. Jake's only alternative was to leave town and never come back. He left Brooklyn. You wanted to go with him. Jake told you to stay because it may be dangerous. But he did promise that he would contact you if something happened. He left 11 years ago and you haven't heard from him since. That's a long time to go without talking to your brother. Um, okay, so we need to find a bank and we need to like clear out our assets, man. We need to liquidate. Liquidate. We have gold coin, $15 and $200 in a bank account whose number I can no longer remember because I've remembered so many numbers today. I think it was 219. I think that was, I think that is actually it. Um, all right, we need to go to the post office, I guess. And... Post some stuff, I guess. I don't quite know what we're doing here. Um, all right, let's ring the bell and get some service here. Ring a ling ling. Looking to mail something. What can I do for you? Talk to man. What can I do for you? Ask man. How's it going? <laughs> I was not understood. Okay, you can't get too elaborate these old games. Um. Take mail. Let me check. I'll be right back. Yeah, go get my mail, you slovenly public servant. Postmaster says, you have been checking your mailbox every day for the last 11 years, hoping to hear from Jake. I'm real sorry, Jared. There's still no word. I know how close the two of you are. Well, maybe you should mind your own business, old man. Did I ask you to get involved in my life? Because I don't remember asking you, man. You reply with a sigh. Thanks for checking. I hope I hear from you, from Jake someday. Then under my breath, breath, I mutter some curse words at the man. Um, look on desk. You notice nothing unusual. How about there's just like letters sitting here? Like, see that? Letters? Can't take those, though. Um, okay, how about look postmark? You can't see a postmark from this distance. You can't see a postmark from this distance. You can't see a postmark from this distance. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. How about take, take letter. Um, take, 
take a letter. No one here to help you? Okay. Ring bell. Get over here, man. Ding, ding, ding. What can I do for you? Take letter. Let me check. Okay, wait. When I typed in take mail, was I not specific that I also wanted letters? I'm confused. You've been checking your mailbox every day. I'm really sorry. I know how close the two of you. Um, okay. Now I type look postmark. Can't see the postmark from here. What am I missing? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to leave and come back and wait for a letter. Okay, well, now would be a good time to walk over and see if anybody actually wants to buy our house. Oh, God, we're about to get run over. <laughs> get out of here, horse. Oh, God. Okay, cross the street. Now get out of the way, banker. This is life or death. Those horses don't stop for nothing, man. I know I was trampled in another life. Get out of here. Hey, does anyone want this house? Sweet, it's a sweet house. It's a good house for a good, good price. Nobody? How do you sell this damn house? Mr. Quail, buy my house, please. He just walks around periodically in front of my house for no reason. Um, alright, that stupid cop. I, it's, finding you for walking on the grass. Give me a break. You're not allowed to walk on the grass in 1848. What's the point of having a park? People can't use these things. All right. Ring bell. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, take mail. All right, you check my mail, old man. You give me that letter or I'll bust you up. Postmaster says, you've been checking your mail. Hoping to hear from Jake. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. <laughs> we can't get the letter either. What is happening in this game? Why? I can't sell my house. I can't get my mail. Okay, well, let's... On to the next adventure, I guess. Let's go to the bank and clear out all our money. That'll be the one thing we get accomplished today. Clearing out all our money. All right, man. Teller. Sir. Wait. Yeah, here. Uh, the teller says, how may I help you? Give me all my damn money. Damn is not understood. Give me all my money or else. <laughs> all right, just give me all my money. How about that? Give me all my money. What do you mean? Okay, what am I supposed to type in here? Uh, take money. Uh, very clear. I'll help you at the window. Okay. Okay, Jared, I had to walk over two feet. My account number is 219. I like how he says, all right, Jared, what is your account number? If you know who I am, why are you asking me? I, I, identity confirmed, buddy. Apparently we know each other. Just a moment, I'll get your money for you. Boom, boom. Oh, he's clearing it out. $200, 200 clams. All right, how may I help you? Punch clerk. Punch is not understood. All right, let's get out of here before we get arrested for another felony or something like that. Is there anything else we have to do in here? Nope, just clearing out our bank account, I guess. All right, let's head up to this warehouse and see what's going on. The gold rush should start any minute, right? Also, why is the sound off right now? What did I do? Uh, sound on. And... Okay, I can't tell if that's on or off. I hope it's on. Anyway, the sound is on. Uh, let's go into this warehouse area. And uh, see what these people want. What's this here? Look at note. You don't notice any... Oh, God, look. The warehouse, there's a poster attached to a large post. All right, look at poster. You were looking at the back side of the... Oh, my God. Look at the front of the poster, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bound for California, the seafarer, now with all her cargo engaged, and we'll have a prompt dispatch. Buy a ticket at Leonard at 12 Front Street. Strike any key to return. I like how it says strike. Strike a key. That's like a very old school way of saying press a key. All right, we got to find Leonard, and we got to uh, gotta actually buy a ticket. Um, okay. So this is the boat that we're going to be on. I'm excited for that. You know what? We're probably going to leave without enough money to do anything. We don't have our mail. Things are not really going good for us, but uh, we're getting to California, damn it. 
I think we just have to keep going further south here. Maybe one more. We're going to find this Leonard guy. Um, oh, look at this graveyard. It's kind of cool. This is actually like a pretty big environment to explore. Kind of neat. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're visiting our parents' grave. Look at Tombstone. You are near your parents' graves. Oh, my God. Let's give them some flowers. Uh, when you visit your parents' graves, you bring a bouquet of flowers in their memory. It was a dark, damp, dreary, cold, rainy, windy winter night many years ago that your mother and father were suddenly taken in an unfortunate horse-drawn buggy accident. Hey, that's how I died. How quickly and tragically they were taken. You never have, most likely you never will understand why. Well, the why is that a horse ran them over. Sorry to be so nihilistic about it all, but that is the why. This is a actually awesome, uh, awesome view. F A. What what am I looking at here? What a view! The game even recognizes it. All right, enough of this. We got mail to look for. Let's see if uh, let's see if we've actually uh, gotten our mail yet. See if our house is sold. Try and buy that ticket. That uh, ticket to a better life in California, where the governor, the governor, the governor, is a cybernetic enhanced dude sent from the future kill us all but then he learned the value of human life so he became our governor instead and that was a long time ago actually an arnold schwarzenegger reference wow that's i mean arnold schwarzenegger ding ring bell arnold schwarzenegger is definitely sort of timeless and awesome but to make a reference about him being the governor of california that is pretty dated even for me guys and i live in the past all right Nothing, nothing, nothing. Seriously? Okay, whatever, dude. Screw you, man. <laughs> Still don't have any mail. Still can't sell my house. It's funny, this game's called Gold Rush. We're not making it to California. I'm trying, guys. You see me try? I would love to know. Somebody comment in the comment section down below. What am I missing? What am I not doing? So the reason that I play adventure games with walkthroughs it, these days is because, like, when it comes to, uh, you know, making uh, Let's Plays. Uh, oh, look at this. Leonard says, I've been getting some business from my poster in the warehouse. What can I help you with today? Oh, there he is. Wait, come back. I want to buy a ticket. Sir. Okay, here he comes. Um, but the reason that I play adventure games with walkthroughs is so that this doesn't happen, so that we can actually make some progress. I'm so confused as to why the things aren't working. Anyway, Leonard is here. Let's go ahead and buy a ticket. How much is it? You'll never find a cheaper way to travel, Jared. And there is room on the ship. The routes, blah, blah, blah. Panama route is 900. The Cape route is 650. Are you interested? I am, but I don't have that kind of cheddar, man. Which route are you interested in? The cheaper one? Uh, oh, I picked the more expensive one. Would you like to buy a ticket? Yes. That'll be 900 in cash, please. Pay him. Uh, pay for ticket. Sorry, Jared, but there isn't enough money here to get the passage on the ship. Um, beat up man. Steal ticket. Take ticket. Oh, man. He's not going to sell it to me. Oh, wait. This guy. Oh, that's that's the guy who wants to buy my house. Wait, where is he? Wait, wait. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No, oh, that, that's the guy who wants to buy my house. He looks like a chef. Take to man. Talk to man. Where did he go? Not that. That's the banker guy. Oh, shit. Where's this guy? He was just walking around here. He's the guy who wants to buy my house, not him. We'll try talking to him. Uh, I'd probably be in my way, blah, blah, blah. This guy. Uh, talk to you. You, where are you going, dude? You're on the wrong screen. No, <laughs> buy my house. Screw you, Leonard. I need money. Oh, my God. What a disaster today has been. Nobody will buy my house. I need cash, man. I need hard cash. I can't leave this this town until I get some cash. Look, that's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy who's going to buy my house. Let's follow him. 
Get back over here, sir. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Where are you, dude? I will beat you into purchasing my property. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? What's the... Do you want to buy my house? Uh, the young man from the grocer says, Good day to you, sir. He looks like he's dressed in modern clothes, like jeans and a t-shirt. Doesn't look very 1800s-ish to me. Um, well, we're screwed. Might as well just walk into the street and end it all. Oh, they didn't, they, they, they don't even have the courtesy to run me over. <laughs> well, here we are in Gold Rush. I am at a loss. I don't know how to move forward in the game. I'm missing something obvious. I must be. I have no idea what it is. I'm literally reading through the walkthrough as I'm talking to you guys right now, looking at the notes. Like, what didn't I do? I looked at the photo album, took the photo, I closed the desk, I took the statement, I read the statement, I sold my, I went sell house, and then it says wait in front of the gate for a buyer to come along and talk to you, say yes to the offer. <laughs> Where's this guy? <laughs> Apparently only have 14 minutes to play this where the gold rush starts. I don't see no gold rush, we've been playing this game for like a long time. A last time. Wait, what? 11 seconds? Wait, what? Maybe that explains why it's not working? Well, I don't know, guys. Gold Rush here was one of the games recommended in the fan extravaganza. I mean, it looks like a cool adventure game. Uh, the environments are quite neat from what I've seen. I mean, I didn't even get to see California, but uh, um, it does. It plays like an old Sierra adventure game where things are kind of obscure and like you wouldn't necessarily know to do certain things like how would you know to look in the cracks of the gazebo till you found a gold coin? Who knows? And like, how would you know that your bank statement is crumpled up in your desk and you have to close the desk in order to get a bank statement? I mean, desks don't even close like that anymore. It was like a lid that came down over the desk. If you grew up in the 21st century, you would never even think to close a desk. It doesn't make any sense. So the fact that you need to find that before you can open your, you know, get your bank account... That is 100% the kind of stuff that was in old Sierra games. They were so cryptic and confusing. And what you would have to do to play these old games is just try everything. Because any action could lead to any consequence. Um, they were still fun games. Um, and it was, it was really satisfying whenever you made progress. And again, I still attribute them. Or I still think of them as like hollow novels or like, I mean, adventure games is what they are. But they are a chance to immerse yourself in a world. And Sierra was really good at the world building back in the day. So this seems like a cool world. Would have loved to explore it further. But I honestly have no idea how to get this working and why this is not working. How much time has elapsed now? Okay, yeah. See, that's broken. There's something wrong with my watch. And that's clearly preventing the game from carrying forward. So... Uh, anyway, uh, we have plenty more fun games coming up in the fan extravaganza, so <laughs> they're going to run much better than this. I hope that today was at least a fun bit of nostalgia looking back at this game, if you did recommend it. I hope that you got a smile and a chuckle out of my struggles, and if you did, then I would consider today a success, even though I uh, would have loved to see more of this game. Maybe one day I'll come back to this um, and get further, but, uh, you know, I've like uh 10 other games i gotta get to so we gotta gotta keep it going here so anyway hope you guys had fun today um don't forget to like the video and all that jazz and i will see you guys very soon for yet another video in our 2020 fan extravaganza so until next time my friends you all take care of yourselves and peace <laughs>